So I'm a senior fundraiser and I work for the Carbon Vale Health Charity. So we deal with donations every day for members of the public. Um, and since, since this pandemic has started, we've been absolutely overwhelmed by all the donations coming in. So um, we obviously wanted to make sure people were kept safe and we didn't really want people to come onto the hospital site. So we have set up Staff Haven here at UHW. We've also got one over at Landsock Hospital as well. Generally, people leave, leave with, a, with a smile on their face, um, usually with a full tummy. Um, we're the food duo with a social club. Um, they, obviously, people are very kind. There's foods coming here from different places. They get it prepared and everything. Um, and uh, we're delivering it around the wards to the essential wards. Um, and obviously, a lot of the, the wards here we've got COVID wards and sort of wards that are going working really, really hard. We've worked alongside the health charities. Um, they've been sending the donations down here. We've been accepting the deliveries and really getting working with the Cardiff Blues to set up the haven to make it run smoothly for staff. But the idea of it is just an rest area for staff that can make it off the wards um, to give them a place where they can come and have a chill out. Um, we are, are having clinical psychology come in here so if they were struggling we can help, help them to speak to them as well. So it's just an area for people to come and have coffee and relax a bit really off their shifts. We've had a very positive feedback, um, it's come from via different sources, we've had some emails come through say that the staff are really appreciating it. Well, the donations have been fantastic, a young girl actually and her dad came this week with two car loads. Um, she put a request out on her Facebook page and filled her car, two cars and brought them in. Um, we've had pallet loads of Easter eggs, um, we've had water, well it's just tremendous really what we've had. So I'm the founder of Waterloo Tea, uh, I started a collaboration of food businesses uh, called uh, Feed the Heath and we work with the Cardiff and Vale Health Charity in getting food and healthy, nutritious, freshly made food to uh, Heath Hospital in Clandoch. Uh, we've been doing it for, or uh, well, since the start of March. We're delivering 800 meals to Heath and 250 meals to Clendoch every day. Our plan when we first started was to do 100 meals a day, and they flew out in 20 minutes on the first day. So the next day we went up to 200, and by the end of the week we'd achieved 800 meals a day. Well, we're actually a part of the Feed the Heat initiative. So we actually go to different restaurants and hotels who are volunteering to cook for the NHS staff and we collect food from them and then we come and deliver it to the staff over here so it helps them for the week or whatever we can do for them to get a better day ahead. Everyone's very happy, the people who are cooking are happy to help, the people who are receiving the food over here are happy, they're always giving us positive feedback and saying the food is excellent and we're always there for them whatever they need. So It's, it's, it is quite, quite rewarding, um, especially the partnership work that we've set up with other organisations, you know, and seeing seeing other people put in the effort, and uh, seeing seeing people volunteer their time as well, you know, and people from all over the community from from different walks of life and things. Um, Every hospital we've spoke to so far have, have been really appreciated of it. Um, so what we try to do on a Thursday, Friday of every week get to as many hospitals as we can and to supply them with roughly about 500 loaves at each hospital. Thank you. My name's Dean by the way and we're very grateful for all the donations we've had. Sometimes we haven't got time to prepare food for ourselves um, and it's just nice to be you know valued for the job we're doing because it is tough but you know, with all the support we're getting, it's really good. Yeah, we usually do 12, 13 hours, so sometimes it gets a bit difficult. we been blessed over the last couple of weeks since all this started with people coming in with donations of food and crisps and biscuits. Loads of snacks. Loads and loads <laughs> of snacks, hence waistline starting to go <laughs> um, We've just been inundated. Uh, I think it was just before Easter, we having Easter eggs delivered. Um, I think we've had a company giving us Lego for our children and grandchildren. Look, we've been having you for the last few weeks, actually really helping the NHS all across the board. Really enjoyable. Everyone needs a toast in the morning, don't they? The food uh, has been amazing. Mm, really good. Amazing. Especially when you don't have time to make. Yeah. yeah. But you'll be doing fresh. something on the ward with, with people and there'll be a knock on end, just people with food and 
you know, little goodies that, you know, it, it, it's, it's lovely that people do care. So Thank it you. is worth it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's amazing. I'm on today. Oh, I'll go and check the yeah, numbers there. Yeah, lovely. There Thank we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, it's much appreciated. We love it. Um, and we look forward to lunchtime every day. Um, and we thoroughly enjoy it. Thank, Thank you, you ever so Thank much. Thank you so much.